We explain the 1909 World Series. The 1909 series saw a matchup between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Detroit Tigers, who were returning for the third series in a row. Both teams had a dominating season in pitching, with the Pirates being backed up by Howie Kamnitz, Vic Willis, and Lefty Leefield, and the Tigers using Mullen, Willett, and Summers. Each team also came with a powerful superstar hitter. Honus Wagner versus Ty Cobb would draw many fans to the park. The turning point of the series was Pirates rookie pitcher Charles Babe Adams. The Tigers could not seem to defeat him in the three games he pitched against them. Manager Fred Clark had started Adams on a hunch in Game 1, then brought him back for Game 5 in the series winning Game 7, each game Adams holding the Tigers to just six hits. The series saw each team trade off the lead, taking them to the first series to go to the seventh game. The big three pitching of the Pirates underperformed, and they had to rely on Adams and the mighty bats of Fred Clark and Honus Wagner. The Tigers pitching also went cold, with the exception of George Mullen, who won two games, including a five-hit shutout complete with ten strikeouts, and Wild Bill Donovan, who won one. Batting champion Ty Cobb also underperformed, going 6 for 26 and batting at 231. The Pirates would win four games to three. The Tigers faced their third straight defeat. Wagner had 333 and had seven RBIs and six stolen bases. There is a rumored story where Cobb called Wagner a crowd head from first and Wagner tagged him in the teeth with the ball as he came into second. It can't be proven. This would be the last series Cobb would ever play in, although he'd play ball for another two decades. The Pirates would pull in a record setting 18 stolen bases. Future Hall of Fame players include Wagner, Cobb, Sam Crawford, Huey Jennings, Vic Willis, and Fred Clark. <laughs>